Hello and welcome to module 13, wireless LAN configuration. So um, this whole chapter, well, it's all about configuring uh, a home wireless network and an enterprise net wireless network. So what I decided to do instead of going through the um, slides with you, I'm going to have you build the network, build both a home wireless LAN and an enterprise wireless LAN on a packet choice. And when we're all done, you submit whatever we're done in, in probably it's going to take a video or two to do that. So whenever we're done with video one, you upload that. All right. And then we'll do that with, with, with uh, um, video two. So let's start with um, a home network. What if somebody asks you, they want to set up a home wireless LAN, what would you do? Well, this is what you do. The first thing you do is you go down to the wireless devices right here. And I want you to pick up a home router. All right. And let's just pick up um, a PC. It's going to connect to the home router. Okay. And assuming the home router is going to be connected on the internet, connected to your cable modem or your DSL. And I'll show you how to do So here. First thing you do is you click on the back of the router and you see this button right, I mean, this port, this goes to your modem. These are your Ethernet ports, four of them. You can connect this to your TV, maybe this is to your desktop, maybe one of them to your laptop. But of course you want, the rest is for wireless. You can turn it on and off right here. All right, so let me just close that for now. But when you buy a, a wireless router home, what do you do? I know you're going to install the software, maybe on your PC to allow it to connect. But even if you don't have a DVD to install it, what you could do is the first thing you do when you have a wireless router is you go in, you grab a straight through cable that comes with the wireless router, connect it to your wired best ethernet and go to any of the gigabit, not the ether, this internet connects to your modem, any of the gigabit ethernet ports, all right, you guys are following me because at the end, you're going to submit this when we're all done, okay? <clears throat> all right, so you wait till it turns green, but to speed this up, since we are in packet traces, just hit the speed up button and let it come up fast. So the next thing you do is you, you go to your command prompt on your desktop and <clears throat> you type IP config. Oops, well... Since we are in Packet Tracer, typically at home you are already in a default gateway and you'll get an IP address. But in Packet Tracer, you have to go in here and toggle to a DHCP. All right, let's pretend that we are at home and we have got the D we got our wireless router giving us, excuse me, an IP address. So when I type IP config. At my, uh, at my command prompt, I, I'm looking for my default gateway. In this case, it's 192.168.01. Default gateway of this. All right, so I'll close this. And I'll go to my, at, at the PC, I'll open up a browser on my laptop or my computer. And I'll type the default gateway in the URL. All right, this is a Linksys router. And the username is admin, and the password is admin. If you have any other routers you need to figure out, any other type of router, you need to figure out what the username and the password is. Okay, so you type those in, and you hit OK, and now you are inside the router, and you can start configuring. Now, you can do all your configuration, and then you're all done with this. But what I'm going to do is... Um, I don't want to keep going through this because sometimes with Packet Tracer, I get timed out. Uh, but in real life, you're in and you, of course, you do everything that we're going to do next. So instead of going through here, I just wanted to show you this when you do this in real life. Since we are in Packet Tracer, I want to just click on the router and go to the GUI part of it. All right. So here we go. So we're in the GUI. This part if the internet setup, this is where you are connected to your DSL or cable modem. So I don't touch this. Let it be DHCP, which means your cable modem is giving going to be giving you the IP address, the static IP address, 
So you don't touch this unless you really want to set up a static IP, which we're not going to do. So you leave it the way you leave it as is. You are going to here. You're going to set up your network. Minimize this a little bit. Oh, maybe from here. Okay, I guess not. How is that? Okay, anyway. So what I want to do is the wireless network that is in here, right? So, um, oops. All right, so what you want to do is here, the network by default is 192.168.01. This is the default gateway. So what I'm going to make it is I'm going to make it 10.1. That will be your default gateway from now on, right? With slash 24. And you want to enable the DACP server to make sure that all the wireless users in your home will be able to get an IP address. I'm going to give... So the first one will get a 192.68.10.100. And up to 50 users can get IP addresses. All right, I just changed the IP address from 0 0.1 to 10.1. That's all. Go all the way to the bottom. Leave everything else to say and click on Save Settings. When you click on Save Settings, you'll see that the IP addresses have changed. Okay, so you're all good. So now you're changed the internal IP address. And now you go to Wireless. All right, let's say I want to enable the 2.4 network, and I'm going to make it on auto. I don't want to, you know, could be in or whatever, just leave it on auto. Let's disable the two 5 gigahertz network. So we don't get any confusion. Disable that and disable the other five. And now let's set up our DSSID. DSSID which is the name of the network. Let's change it from the word default to NTWK. Uh, that's my SSID, the name of my network. All right, and I want my router to broadcast the SSID. Okay, I'm gonna make it passive. So uh, if you, you're gonna be, we're gonna be able to see it and log into it. And then here, leave the standard channels the same and leave the bandwidth Channel bandwidth also the same. All right, go all the way to the bottom and hit save settings. All right, then we move to security, wireless security, not necessarily security, wireless security. So if you click on security and let's enable the security mode, let's enable WPA2 personal. Okay, it's going to ask us, it's going to renew every 3600 seconds. And they want a passphrase. So let's say, I love net working. One word, okay? Don't put any space. And I is capital. Okay, so I'll make sure I is capital. I use capital letters and all lowercase letters, okay? Make a sentence. It's much more difficult to, to crack. So let's go down. So a PA2 encryption is set, and I hit save. All right, so now I set up. Now, the other thing that I really want to do inside is I want to change the password, the admin password when you got it to the router. It says here is, you know, the one that says uh, we used admin, admin. So we're going to change the password from admin. Let's call it hello, one, two, three. Of course, when you're in real life, you want to make it a little bit more stronger. Hello, one, two, three. And we want to enable remote management so I can always access the router remotely. I don't have to be connected to it. So click on enable. Um, the password we entered is incorrect. So let me change that again. So hello, one, two, three. Hello, one, two, three. Oops. Hello, one, two, three. Let's see if that works. All right, so it looks good. And I click on saving, and I'm done. All right, so you're done with the router. When you are all done with the router, 
you can remove the cable now that you got in. So uh, don't do that. I'll remove the cable. And I'll click back in here. By the way, when you want to remove the cable, um, oops. Let me just click on the arrow. Okay. When you want to clear, when you want to remove anything, just click on the work area because sometimes the highlighted device will get deleted. So click on the work area and just then you can choose whatever device you want to get rid of. All right, so let's go to the PC now, and you loaded the software on there. Oops, I'm sorry. What we're going to do, we're going to go to the PC. The PC doesn't have a wireless NIC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the PC, take the wireless, oops, turn it off, take the wireless NIC, throw it on the punch here, grab the WMP300, click, grab it, put it in there, and turn it back on. Go back to the desktop, you install the software, and let's see if we can um, connect to the network. So go to connect and hit refresh. When you hit refresh, hopefully the NTWK network comes up and there it is. Click on it and connect. And the password is, remember, I love networking, one word, and click on connect. And the adapter is connected, and you are connected. And therefore, you can go to the desk. You can close this now. You can go in here, and, and you can type ipconfig, and there is your default gateway. And you got the 101 IP address. So let's see if we can remotely access our router from now on wirelessly. So you can click on the wireless router in here, I mean the browser, and type your new default gateway, and click on go. They ask you for your admin, what's the password? You get into the router now, it's, it's no longer ad, uh, admin, it's hello, one, two, three. And you are in the router, and now you can configure it wirelessly. And now you got a wired network. And just don't forget to connect your internet cable to the cable uh, to the cable modem, and you'll be good to go. And you'll connect it to the internet. That's it. Now you have a secured wireless network, WPA2 network. Very easy. Even if you don't have a Linksys router, uh, it can easily be done. It's, it's pretty much the same thing. This is just the interface of a Linksys router. So if you have any other routers, they pretty much work the same way. All right. All right. So um, this is it for the home router. On the next video, we're going to start configuring an enterprise network where we can have, well, we you will configure um, a wireless LAN controller with a whole bunch of APs. All right. That'll be a lot of fun. So I'll see you in the next video. Save this and upload it as homework. And I'll, and I'll see you on the next video.